What's up guys, Tyler here. I realized one of the rear end links on my Miata was broken, so I decided to make a quick video to show you how to replace it. It's a really easy job, and in fact, you can do it without even jacking the car up. I'm gonna show you how. Even though my car is lowered, I can still squeeze under there to do it. I just get down here. So as we're seeing, my end link is broken. The actual bushing is pulled out of the top, so it's gotta be replaced. First, I'm gonna take out the bolt down here, holding it to the control arm. Then, after I get the actual end link out of the way, I'm going to remove the broken bushing up here. Both of these are 14 millimeters. And there we are. The old end link is out, as you can see, completely ripped out of here. All right, let's get this guy out. And there we go. The bolt was so rusted seized, it actually just broke. Took forever, but it is what it is. Now when I install my end link, I just have to get a new bolt. All right, let's grab the new one. And we have our new end link here. It's not actually new, new. It's a used one off a parts car that still has good bushings, but it's gonna perform the task just as well. Start by attaching it to the sway bar first. Our new bolt as well because the old one snapped off from rusty age. Probably gonna be taking these back out again soon, man. To uh, yeah. put our uh... we got some special poly ones in the works. Yeah. Gage over here is a master uh, master fabricator when it comes to poly bushings and stuff. We slid it into the bottom control arm here while it's still loose up there for the most play. We're gonna feed the bolt through. All right. Now with our new wind link in, we can go ahead and tighten everything up. And there we go. Our new wind link is in. So now I should be able to get some uh, better cornering from the rear now that it's actually connected together again side to side. And we did it all without even having to lift the car off the ground. I'd say job well done. Thanks for watching.